Imagine a way of living that helps you overcome fear, embrace change, and find clarity in chaos. A philosophy so powerful it has guided warriors, emperors, and thinkers for centuries. The best part? It's not some mystical idea or unreachable goal. It's a mindset you can start practicing today. This ancient philosophy is Stoicism. It's not about suppressing emotions or living a joyless life. It's about mastering your inner world to thrive in the outer one. Whether it's reflecting on your actions, embracing discomfort for growth, or using nature as a guide, Stoicism gives you tools to handle life's challenges with resilience and clarity. If you've ever felt overwhelmed by life's complexity, trapped by fear, or disconnected from the present moment, you're not alone. But here's the truth you don't have to stay stuck. By tapping into these timeless principles, you can simplify your life, prioritize what matters, and become the unshakable person you've always aspired to be. So, are you ready to dive into the steps that can transform how you live, love and grow? Let's explore these powerful Stoic principles and discover how they can guide you to a life of purpose and peace. Number 1. The Importance of Intention Over Outcome Happiness comes from dreaming big, doesn't it? Think about the moments you envisioned a future where everything aligned perfectly a successful career, a loving family, or even a well-executed daily routine. The rush of excitement, the joy of imagining yourself victorious, it's exhilarating. But let's pause here. How often do we chase these dreams, only to feel empty or frustrated when things don't go as planned? The truth is, many of us are focused on the wrong target. The ancient Stoics, particularly Marcus Aurelius, believed that true fulfillment lies not in achieving outcomes, but in mastering our intentions. Now, let's unpack this. Stoicism teaches that while outcomes are outside our control, intentions reside firmly within us. Marcus Aurelius once said, the universe is change, our life is what our thoughts make it. This powerful insight reminds us that external results are subject to the whims of fortune, other people's decisions, and even luck. But your intentions, why you do what you do, those are entirely yours. Picture a moment when you poured your heart into something, maybe cooking a meal for loved ones, working on a project, or simply helping a friend. Even if the results weren't perfect, the effort and purpose behind those actions gave you pride and peace. Here's where nostalgia might hit home. Do you remember being a child, building something with blocks or drawing on a piece of paper? The joy wasn't in the finished product, was it? It was in the act of doing, of creating with pure intent. Somewhere along the way, adulthood taught us to focus on applause, grades, promotions, or recognition. We replaced the purity of effort with the anxiety of outcomes. But think back. Weren't those moments of uninhibited action the most freeing? The Stoics encourage us to return to that mindset, to focus on the journey rather than the destination. This brings us to a question that stirs curiosity. What if you changed how you viewed your goals? Instead of measuring success by what you achieve, what if you focused solely on your effort and intent? Imagine waking up each day with a clear purpose, driven not by external rewards, but by an internal compass. How might that reshape your habits? Start reflecting. Why do you do the things you do? Are you chasing genuine growth, or are you trying to fill an empty void with temporary validations? This simple shift in perspective can revolutionize how you approach life. Number two, the power of the pause. Close your eyes and picture this a serene moment, a gentle breeze, and the calmness of stillness. Feels good, right? But now contrast that with the chaos of daily life. Think of a time when you were caught in an argument or made a rushed decision. The anxiety, the regret, it's suffocating. We live in a world that glorifies quick reactions. 
Yet the Stoics knew that power lies not in haste, but in the pause. Stoic philosopher Epictetus wisely advised, first say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. This means embracing thoughtful action rather than impulsive reaction. When we pause, we create space to choose a response that aligns with our values instead of succumbing to knee-jerk reactions that reinforce bad habits. Consider your daily life. How often do you scroll through social media out of boredom, snack out of stress, or argue out of frustration? Each of these is a reaction, not a conscious choice. Take a nostalgic journey for a moment. Do you remember a time when you reacted quickly and later regretted it? Maybe it was snapping at a loved one or buying something you didn't need in the heat of emotion. These moments remind us of the cost of haste. Now think back to the times you paused before acting. Maybe you stopped to take a deep breath before replying to an angry email or you thought twice before saying something you couldn't take back. Those were the moments of power, weren't they? That's where growth happens, in the pause. But how do we cultivate this habit of pausing? Here's where your curiosity should spark. Imagine a life where every action is deliberate, where you control your impulses rather than being controlled by them. What rituals could you introduce to create pauses in your day? Perhaps taking five deep breaths before making a decision or journaling before bed to reflect on your choices. The pause isn't just a moment, it's a mindset, and mastering it can help you not only break bad habits, but also build better ones. Number three, embrace discomfort for growth. Let's start with a smile. Think about the comfort of your favorite blanket, a warm drink on a cold day, or curling up on the couch after a long week. It's bliss, isn't it? Comfort feels good. It's our refuge from the chaos of the world. But here's the twist. Comfort zones can quickly turn into cages. They keep us safe, but they also keep us stuck. The Stoics, particularly Seneca, understood this well. He famously said, difficulties strengthen the mind as labor does the body. In other words, growth only happens when we step outside our comfort zones. Take a moment to reflect on habits that might seem harmless, but actually hold you back that extra slice of cake, binge watching another series, or hitting snooze one more time, they all bring immediate comfort. Yet over time, they can erode your health, discipline, and progress. Seneca's wisdom challenges us to flip the script. Instead of seeking comfort, seek discomfort. The gym instead of the couch. The difficult conversation instead of avoidance. The effort instead of the excuse. Now let's rewind to your childhood or teenage years. Remember the first time you tried to ride a bike, swim or speak in public? It was terrifying, wasn't it? But think of the pride you felt once you succeeded. Those moments taught you that discomfort isn't the enemy. It's the gateway to growth. Yet as adults, we often forget this. We avoid pain, choosing convenience over challenge. But what if you could reclaim that youthful courage and curiosity? Here's a thought experiment for you. What would your life look like if you embraced discomfort instead of avoiding it? What habits could you break by willingly facing the pain of change? Start small. Skip a sugary treat today. Swap your Netflix time for a 20-minute walk. Instead of hitting snooze, wake up and journal. These little moments of discomfort may seem insignificant, but they're the building blocks of resilience. The question is, are you ready to trade fleeting comfort for lasting fulfillment? The choice is yours. Number four, reflect daily on your actions. Happiness often emerges from the simplest rituals. Think about those quiet moments when you sit with yourself, sipping a warm drink or enjoying the stillness of the evening. These instances often bring clarity, don't they? Now, imagine adding a layer of purpose to these moments, using them to reflect on your day, your choices, and your actions. 
This practice, deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy, is known as evening reflection. It's a tool that allows us to align with our values, acknowledge our successes, and address areas for growth. Marcus Aurelius, one of history's greatest Stoic philosophers, wrote in Meditations. When you arise in the morning, think of what a privilege it is to be alive, to think, to enjoy, to love. But the other side of this wisdom is just as powerful before you sleep, reflect on how you lived that day. Did you act with integrity? Were you kind to others? Did you make choices aligned with your deeper goals? This is not an exercise in self-criticism, but an opportunity to cultivate self-awareness. By reflecting daily, you not only grow, but also gain a sense of control over your life. Nostalgia often connects us to moments where we wished we'd acted differently, times when a harsh word escaped our lips, or we avoided a challenge out of fear. Reflecting on these memories isn't about dwelling on regrets, but about learning from them. Do you remember a time you handled a situation poorly, but later wished you could have approached it with more patience or wisdom? Imagine having the discipline to review those moments every day and gradually improving how you respond to similar situations. Now, here's where curiosity comes in. What would happen if you turned this reflection into a nightly habit? Imagine ending each day with a simple question, what did I learn today? This question alone can transform how you view success, failure and personal growth. You could jot down your thoughts in a journal, mentally review your day before bed, or even share your reflections with a trusted friend. Over time, this small act can help you build a deeper connection with yourself and create a life rooted in intentionality and purpose. Number five, use nature as a guide for change. Close your eyes and picture a forest in autumn. The leaves are changing colors, falling gently to the ground. This process happens every year without resistance. Nature embraces change, it thrives on it. But as humans, we often resist change, clinging to what feels familiar. Stoicism teaches us to take a page from nature's book, understanding that change is not just inevitable, but also necessary for growth. Seneca once wrote, every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. Nature models this truth perfectly. A tree sheds its leaves not because it's dying, but because it's preparing for renewal. Similarly, in our lives, letting go of old habits, relationships or beliefs can feel uncomfortable, even painful. Yet, it's in this release that we create space for growth. Think back to a time in your life when change felt overwhelming, a move to a new city, the end of a relationship, or starting a new job. At first, it likely felt unsettling, maybe even terrifying. But looking back, didn't that change bring new opportunities, lessons or strength? Reflecting on these moments reminds us that just like nature, we too can adapt and thrive through change. Now, let's stir some curiosity. What if you began viewing change not as something to fear, but as a natural process to embrace. Take a walk outside and observe the rhythm of nature, the ebb and flow of tides, the changing seasons, the resilience of a flower breaking through concrete. Nature is a living guide, constantly teaching us how to adapt, grow and persevere. How can you align your life with these lessons? Number six, transform fear into curiosity. Fear is universal. Whether it's the fear of failure, rejection, or the unknown, we've all felt its grip. But what if you could transform that fear into something empowering, into curiosity? Stoicism challenges us to reframe fear as an opportunity to explore, learn, and grow. Epictetus said, he who is not a slave to fear is truly free. This freedom doesn't mean fear disappears. Instead, it means we learn to coexist with it, using it as a tool for growth. For example, consider the fear of public speaking. At its core, this fear often stems from uncertainty. What if I stumble? 
what if they judge me? But by shifting your mindset, these what ifs can turn into what if I connect with the audience? What if I inspire someone? This small mental shift can unlock a world of possibilities. Nostalgia plays a key role here. Remember a time when fear held you back, maybe an opportunity you didn't seize because you were afraid. Now think about the times when you pushed through your fear and discovered something amazing on the other side. These memories remind us that fear, when faced, often leads to growth and transformation. Here's a question to ignite your curiosity. What fears are you currently avoiding and how could they become sources of growth? Start small. If you fear meeting new people, challenge yourself to strike up a conversation. If you fear failure, take on a project with no guarantee of success. Each time you face a fear with curiosity, you weaken its hold and strengthen your courage. Number seven, value simplicity over complexity. Think about the last time you felt overwhelmed. Was it your crowded schedule, a chaotic workspace, or even the sheer number of notifications on your phone? Complexity often breeds stress, yet we continue to pile on tasks, possessions and commitments, believing more will make us happier. The Stoics, however, valued simplicity, understanding that true peace comes from focusing on what truly matters. Marcus Aurelius advised, Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. This isn't just about decluttering your home or saying no to plans. It's about aligning your life with your values. By stripping away the unnecessary, you create space for the things that genuinely bring you joy and fulfillment. Nostalgic moments often remind us of the beauty of simplicity. Think back to a childhood summer spent playing outside or a quiet evening with loved ones. Those memories likely didn't involve elaborate plans or expensive things. They were simple, and yet they were profoundly satisfying. Now let's get curious. What areas of your life could benefit from simplicity? Is it your physical space, your schedule, or even your thought patterns? Experiment with minimalism, not as a trend, but as a mindset. Try simplifying one area of your life and observe how it impacts your stress levels and sense of peace. Number eight, prioritize self-compassion. We're often our own harshest critics, aren't we? Think about the last time you made a mistake. Did you forgive yourself or did you replay the error in your mind, berating yourself for not doing better? Self-compassion isn't just a feel-good concept. It's a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy and personal growth. Seneca wisely said, You act like mortals in what you fear and like immortals in what you desire. This duality highlights how we often hold ourselves to impossible standards, forgetting that mistakes are a natural part of being human. Practicing self-compassion means treating yourself with the same kindness you'd offer a friend. Nostalgia reminds us of moments when we felt unworthy, yet someone else extended us grace. A teacher who encouraged us after a bad grade, a friend who forgave us, or a parent who comforted us. These memories show us the power of compassion and why we must extend it to ourselves. Curiosity invites us to ask, what would my life look like if I practiced self-compassion daily? Start small. When you make a mistake, pause and remind yourself, I'm learning and that's okay. Over time, this practice can transform how you view yourself and your potential. Number nine. Engage with the present moment. Happiness lives in the present, yet we often dwell on the past or worry about the future. The Stoics called this tendency a thief of joy. Marcus Aurelius wrote, confine yourself to the present. This advice isn't about ignoring the past or future, but about fully immersing yourself in the now. Think about your daily life. How often are you truly present? Maybe you're scrolling on your phone during dinner or mentally replaying a conversation while working. These distractions pull you away from the richness of the present moment. 
Nostalgia often draws us back to moments of presence, a family gathering, a sunset, or a heartfelt conversation. These memories remind us that life's beauty lies in the here and now. Curiosity challenges us to ask, what would life look like if I fully engaged with each moment? Try practicing mindfulness, even in small ways. Put away distractions during meals, take a deep breath before starting your day, or focus entirely on the task at hand. Over time, these practices can help you reclaim the present and find joy in its simplicity. Number 10. Build resilience to overcome challenges. Life is filled with trials, from personal setbacks to global crises. But resilience, the ability to adapt and bounce back, can transform these challenges into opportunities for growth. The Stoics believed that adversity is not an obstacle, but a teacher. Epictetus said, difficulties show what men are. Resilience isn't about avoiding hardship, but about facing it with courage and determination. Consider the challenges you've overcome in the past. Maybe it was a health scare, a job loss, or the end of a relationship. Each time you emerged stronger, didn't you? Nostalgia reminds us of these triumphs, showing us that we've faced adversity before and can do so again. Remember a time when you doubted your strength but surprised yourself? Those memories are proof of your resilience. Curiosity asks, how can I cultivate resilience for the challenges ahead? Start by reframing setbacks as opportunities to learn. Surround yourself with supportive people and practice self-care to maintain your mental and physical strength. Each step you take toward resilience equips you to face life's storms with grace and determination. Congratulations on making it to the end. This alone sets you apart. Drop a fire emoji in the comments if you've watched this far, because it proves you're part of the rare 0.01% who not only start something, but finish strong. You've taken the first step toward becoming the master of your habits and unlocking a life of clarity and purpose. If you're serious about transforming your life, don't stop here. Make sure to join our growing community by hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications. Together, let's continue this journey of growth, resilience and timeless wisdom. Let us know in the comments which Stoic principle resonated with you the most and let's fuel this revolution of change one habit at a time.